Hurricane Gustav is headed for America. Hurricane Gustav is now a growing 145 mile per hour category 4 storm. Yes, and intensifying. Gustav has grown to a category 4 hurricane. U.S. forecasters said Saturday. As the growing storm hit a Cuban province, threatened Havana, and led to the evacuations of more than 200,000 people. Also along the U.S. Gulf Coast, tens of thousands fled New Orleans and other areas ahead of a possible Tuesday landfall. This, this hurricane is growing fast, rapidly. Hurricane Gustav so far has killed 78 people and the U.S. National Hurricane Center in Miami said that after hitting Cuba, Hurricane Gustav would enter the warm Gulf of Mexico on a projected course for the Katrina Rita battered U.S. Gulf Coast. Here we go again. Stiff winds whipped intense rains across Havana where police officers supervised workers removing stones, tree branches, and other debris as strong waves crashed against the seawall below. By early Saturday, Hurricane Gustav was approximately 185 miles east of the western tip of Cuba and just 55 miles east-southeast. It was expected to be moving northwest near 14 miles per hour. Hurricane force winds extended out at least 60 miles in some places tropical storm force winds extended approximately 160 miles from its eye and this hurricane is still growing. This could be a bad one. This might not be pleasant. No, this is not going to be pleasant. Not pleasant at all. Hurricane Gustav could strike the U.S. Gulf Coast anywhere from the Florida Panhandle to Texas, but forecasters said there is an increasing chance that New Orleans, of course, will get slammed by very strong storm force winds just three years after Hurricane Katrina and Rita. Residents began pouring out of New Orleans along the highways and the government announced more plans for much bigger evacuations. The Federal Emergency Management Agency, FEMA, said it expects a huge, huge number of Gulf Coast residents will be told to leave the region this weekend. U.S. emergency officials, remembering or keeping mindful of the devastation caused by Hurricane Katrina three years ago, warned that Hurricane, Hurricane Gustav was expected potentially to come with at least 15 to 30 foot storm surges along the Gulf Coast. That's pretty big. And at least, and said four, at least four states in its potential path were expected to begin large scale evacuations on Saturday. This storm has the potential for being a very dangerous storm said a program director with the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. As much as 80 percent of the Gulf of Mexico's oil and gas production could be shut down as a precaution when Gustav enters as a major storm once it gets over warm deep water in the Gulf. Yes, this could be a very big storm. 
Retail gas prices are on the rise. And some experts warn that a direct hit on Gulf energy infrastructure could send pump prices hurtling toward $5 a gallon. That's a pretty steep price for a gallon of gasoline in the United States. In America, that's pretty high. That's not going to help the economy at all, is it? Bad news. Meanwhile, Tropical Storm Hannah was projected to curl westward into the Bahamas, Bahamas by early next week, perhaps, and could eventually threaten Cuba. Here we go again. It had sustained winds at least 50 miles per hour early Saturday and could be near hurricane strength by Sunday, the hurricane center said almost like a double hurricane. Double. Double. Loop current could make Hurricane Gustav even deadlier. I really, really hope this thing doesn't really explode, says one expert after overflight. And the difference between a monster hurricane and a little one for Gulf of Mexico hurricanes often comes down to a small patch of warm deep water that's easy to miss. It's called the loop current and hurricane experts and trackers say Hurricane Gustav is headed straight for it. Reminiscent of Hurricane Katrina. Yes, it's coming. Hurricane Gustav is likely to reach this current late Saturday, experts say. And what happens next will be crucial, maybe deadly. This might not be very pleasant. If Hurricane Gustav hits the loop current and lingers or stalls in that hot spot, watch out. The meandering loop current located in the southeastern Gulf, Gulf of Mexico, provides loads of hurricane fuel. It was a key stopover for nearly all the Gulf Coast killers of the past, including Katrina and Camille. A Miami meteorology and oceanography professor flew over the Gulf Thursday in a federal hurricane research plane to measure the loop current. He saw Hurricane Gustav's forecast track going right down the throat of it. That sounds really bad too. That's kind of the scary part here, he said. You look at this thing and say, sure hope this thing doesn't really explode, but guess what? It probably will. It happened in 2005. Hurricane Katrina went over the loop current and intensified rapidly. Then less than a month later, a weak tropical storm named Rita followed Katrina into the loop current. Thirty hours later, it was a Category 5 monster. Hurricane Gustav is coming to this country, to America. In the last several years, meteorologists have focused more attention on the loop current, which is only a couple hundred miles long and not even 100 miles wide. The evidence linking it to the worst storms is quite solid. And the depth of warm water is crucial. Get ready for a hot, high octane storm or hurricane. It's coming. Gustav is expected to be a very large, powerful hurricane as it approaches the northern Gulf Coast. And these are more signs of the end times, transition days. And there are many, many signs. 